I'm going to tell you now as a true story of what happened last night. As I was coming home from my neighbours, I heard a loud cry from a dog in the car park, a crying out for help. I slipped down over the steps towards the pathway into the car park. There was a lady there, a neighbour from above, walking out a dog, a puppy, a beautiful little puppy, a boxer dog. And she was trying to get it to sit down and she was shouting and screaming at it to sit down and trying to force it to sit down and it wouldn't and it walked away and she asked it to come to it and it didn't. In her hand she had a three foot long stick of a twig with notches in it, three quarters of an inch thick. When the dog didn't come to her she went up to the dog and she smacked it one fifteen times really hard shouting in real temper because it wouldn't sit down. Then she hit it again another five times because it wouldn't sit down and it went into the corner of the bushes. Then again she hit it another five times with a stick. By this time the dog was screaming and she was shouting at it trying to get it to do what she didn't want to do. Next thing the little dog ran into the little car park by this time was coming towards her to stop her doing it. What happened then as I was coming towards down the pathway behind the bush she was bent over again and hit the dog ten more times because it wouldn't sit down. I then came into the car park. By this time, the dog had run under a car, shaking and really upset and really, really frightened. Now, this dog's only about five months old and it's a boxer dog. The neighbour then was still shouting at the dog. What would you do in those circumstances? Now I couldn't take the dog away from her because the law states I can't do that so I came back as I was stood there watching her she knew I was there and watching her what she was doing to observe to take notes. Shame I didn't have my fiddle camera because I would love to have had it on fiddle camera but onto YouTube. As I walked back towards my home she then managed to get the dog out from under the car and picked it up and started walking behind me. I then came home, picked up the phone found a number for the cruelty to animals called the RSPCA that looks after animals and can prosecute people for being cruel to animals and gave him a phone call. This is a very disturbing and upset situation because if you can imagine the film 2001 A Space Odyssey at the beginning where you've got the monkeys banging over with a stick remember and violently hitting remember the scene? That's what she was like with this dog. I'll keep you informed what's going to happen on here I do hope the dog is taken away from them. It's a puppy. How can it understand to sit down at four months old?